using Microsoft Excel, you can now import all the data from a picture or an image into an Excel format. As long as the data is in the table format in a picture or an image, you can basically just simply import it. We're going to look at a different ways how we can actually import the data from you know, an image or a picture into Excel. So the first one, we're going to look at how to do that using a screenshot. So for example, you might be visiting a site. So if I open a site, so there is a site and I want to capture the data from this table into Microsoft Excel, right? It might be really hard to actually, you know, type in all the data if you have a large data table, but it's really, really simple with Microsoft Excel. Okay, so we're going to capture the data first. So I'll open the screenshot. So let's just say I want to do a screenshot and um, I just need to adjust it. So this is already adjusted. So, you know, I have the table selected um, and I can just simply capture it. So if I take a capture, so it's uh, taken a screenshot of the data. Now we're going to go back to Microsoft Excel. So I will open Microsoft Excel now. So I've got Microsoft Excel. Now within Microsoft Excel, you have to click on the data tab. Now I'm using a Mac, so it's actually sitting on the data um, tab, but on a Windows as well, you will find it under the data tab as well, but it might be sitting somewhere here, you know, uh, depending upon um, different versions and stuff. Um, but anyway, the feature is there. Um, so as long as for, for Windows, as long as you have the latest update from Microsoft, you should see this option. Okay, we're going to click on from picture and picture from file. And we are going to select the screenshot that we have taken. So that's the screenshot and I'm going to click and click open. Once we click on that, Microsoft Excel is now going to analyze the image and give the data for us to review. All right. So that's the data that we are going to import into Excel from the screenshot that we have taken. Um, if you are happy with the data, you can simply click insert data. Um, if you want to make any changes to this data, you can actually do that easily. For example, this header, um, I want to modify it. You know, I want to say state and click accept. So it's going to add it there. Um, Similarly, you can actually review all the numbers. If they look fine, uh, you can make any changes to those and accept. Um, and then once you're happy, then you just click on insert data. Um, it says two items still require review. You can review those items, click on review. Um, you know, you can make changes to those items if you're happy. But um, if you don't want to do that here, you can simply click on insert data and make changes later, right? So we're just going to say close and we're going to say insert data and say insert anyway. Okay, so it has now inserted all the data into a table. The header that we have created state, it is also there. So, you know, that's your data set. Uh, let's quickly verify all the data. So I'm just going to grab the screenshot um, that I've taken earlier and we're going to analyze it. So that's the screenshot. So if we have a look at it, you know, we have all the states um, there. We have our header that we have created. Um, all these numbers looks fine, 461712. The total looks fine, 25422788, yeah. And uh, it has basically imported all of these, um, you know, numbers as numbers as well. You know, this is not a text, this is basically imported as numbers. Let's have a look at a different scenario. Let's say, for example, we don't want to do a screenshot, but we want to do it from an image that you might have taken from somewhere, right? I've created another video on the pictures. Um, so basically, if you wanted to import the data into Excel using your mobile phone, um, you know, and taking just taking a picture and just importing data, um, I've created another video on that one. You can basically watch that video. It's a shot, uh, but using the Microsoft Excel desktop, and that's what we are looking at. So let's open another tab. So 
I've got the another sheet open here and this time we're going to import the data from a picture that was taken right so I have this picture so which I have downloaded from internet and I've already cropped this picture so that's the newspaper data.png um, this is kind of looks like an old picture um, make sure you crop the picture first so you know I've cropped it to the table and we're now going to import this. We're going to use the same method that we used before. So let's close this one. And we're going to say from picture again, picture from file. And this time we are going to import the newspaper data PNG. We click open. And again, Microsoft is going to analyze the picture to import the data. So let's see what happens this time. Okay. Um, so I can see that there are some mistakes. There are some missing things. So for example, the time minute, it doesn't have the brackets here. So if you have a look at the uh, picture, it has the brackets in the header, the minutes, right? It's, in, it's not actually importing it. You can make changes here if you want to. Um, the other thing I can notice is it's actually missing the decimal point. So within the picture, it's 0.50. But when it's going to you know, review the data, it's actually putting it 0, 0.50. 0. A decimal is actually missing. Um, so let's just say we want to insert the data and we will see what sort of you know, other missing things are there. So that's the data it has inserted and I'm going to quickly grab the PNG so that we can actually compare it. So if I bring it here, so obviously 0 0.50 and this is 50, that's missing. Um, this is 2,00 and within the picture it's actually 2.00. So what I'm trying to say is, you know, using screenshots, it actually brought together all the data because I think that was in a tabular format and it was properly, um, you know, Microsoft Excel could properly read all the data. But if you have an old image and the image is not, you know, clear or distorted, then it might not bring the data correctly. I mean, the numbers are there, but it's actually missing all those, you know, decimals and putting extra commas and missing brackets from the, in the from the header uh, itself. So you have to be careful when you are trying to import the data from any old images, right? This is how you actually import the data from an image into an Excel or basically convert the data from a photo or an image into Microsoft Excel on your desktop. Um, thank you for watching the video. Please don't forget to leave any comments um, and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Um, if you have any feedback, please put it in the comment section and I hope to see you again. Thank you for watching.